Hello everyone. I I don't even want to apologize because it is what it is, but I fell behind and things just got really crazy with work and I had to just kind of go head down and get everything done. And then I was like, I don't know if I should just kind of re-record, but I really want to just have all of the records for myself and doing this is going to help. And if anyone, it's all good. So that means we are at day 18. So there is going to be lots of videos coming and it's all good. And I'm going to get to have fun and look at all the inks. So day 18 of the Diamine Inkvent calendar and... I was actually able to, because I was so busy, I didn't even see any spoilers. So for me, I am still unspoiled. Blizzard. Blizzard is a shimmer ink. Looks like a blue-green right up my alley. So let's have a look at this one. So <clears throat> yeah, it's just always, always end of semester. Everything always gets kind of crazy around this time. But I stopped beating myself up for things like that because it's just what it is. Um, so let's start with this. See, we left out at day 17. So day 18 is Blizzard. Ooh, I am quite looking forward to this one. I like what I'm seeing. What did I say? Day 18, this is gonna be, ooh, nice Blizzard. And then it's like a green, definitely a green, but sort of like that green, actually it's that green blue that I think I might call, I don't know, for me this is green, but I think it's exactly one of those colors that is sort of on the edge that some other people might actually see as blue. Interesting. So if you see this as blue, I'd be very curious to know. Well, I mean, I guess let's see what happens when this dries but the first impression i love it i really like it this is really my kind of color um, let me put this here okay um let's shake this I'm trying to remember how to do this okay and then let's go to our little ink splatter here oh wow this is going to be almost almost full um, which does not make me happy. Um, we're going to get some drops here. And then we're going to see, I haven't really seen the shimmer yet. So we'll see how shimmery this is going to be. So let's use the little plastic bag, which I love doing. It's fun to do. It is actually really fun to do, to kind of do those little splatters and it's also really nice i do really like it in terms of like what you kind of get to see about the inks like it's a really good way to get some characteristics of the ink perfect i like this let's put this to the side yeah i can definitely see why blizzard this is cool oh i like this one i can see some silver shimmer can you see that there's some silver shimmer coming through. There's going to be some shading. But this is super nice. This is like, I like this. Um, let's do the little ink card here. Uh, let me maybe shake it again to make sure we get some shimmer onto this as well. And then comes the question. Yeah, this is definitely, for me, this is green. But I can definitely, I think this is, this is where my brain somehow interprets color different. I have a feeling this might be blue for other people. I mean, I know it's a mix between blue and green, but for me, this is more green than blue. But I have a feeling that might not be the case for everyone. There we go. Very, very, very nice. So nice. So now the question is, because it is so nice, what pen to put this in? I haven't actually, I have, I don't know if you noticed that, but I have been ignoring my really good pens, mostly because I just, um, yeah, these are these inks that I don't know. Let's, I don't think I have like, I cleaned out some of the pens from the beginning. And now I'm unsure. Maybe I had already used this one, but this feels very, very fitting. I have, may have already used this one. 
but this is very fitting for this ink so i'm gonna reuse this pen i'm fairly certain i had already used this one that's okay this is an opus 88 um and yeah i really like opus 88s for things like that where you're not sure how much of the ink you're going to be using whoa that is not a good plan and then this opus 88 has the um special well it's the actually maybe i haven't used this one because this is an opus 88 nib so this must be a broad nib i am all discombobulated so this is a, just a regular opus 88 uh nib so i might actually not have used this one yet um i apologize this is like i don't remember um so let's dip it just to kind of help it a little bit because the flow and i didn't add too too much ink but um let's see and so i'm gonna this is seems really weird um not entirely sure how to do this um maybe i'm just gonna since key seals seems really weird to write my gratitude things if it's not the day off at all so this feels super nice i also really like this nib and this pen um, i'm fairly certain it's a broad nib um apparently i had uh, ink all over everything and uh, i lost my page there we go um so this writes really nicely it's fluid smooth flows well so this is definitely a winner at a first glance i really like this i really like this and this seems like a really good pen for it um yeah i i think no i know one of the big reasons why i like the opus 88s is because they're so big i like bigger pens my hands are fairly big and so this these pens they just really fit very nicely into my hands so let's have a look at this blizzard so you can definitely see the silver shimmer um again it's this um green blue it is super nice it is super nice look at that i like this so I, I really like this this is this is really my kind of color um so let's actually i'm gonna wait until this is a little bit more drier because i can tell in my current state i'm gonna mess this all up and then look at this here on this so 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 pretty um let me just quickly write the name on it before i forget so this is diamine blizzard and I really, really like it. I'm very impressed with this one. Love it. So, and then you can see it here on the Stalogy paper. It flowed really nicely. It worked really nicely. So there you have it. Day 18. 